Hi everyone and welcome back to Home Head Chef. Today we're going to be making a Parmesan crusted pork chop. This pork chop recipe is fantastic. It's a little bit different than probably what you're used to with pork chops and it's good to switch it up from time to time. It's going to take us roughly about 10 minutes to make and we only need a few simple ingredients. So let's step up to the cutting board and see what we need. For this recipe we're going to need 4 to 5 pork chops, some salt and pepper, 1 cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, 2 eggs, one cup of Italian breadcrumbs, and one teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder. We're gonna start by setting up a three-stage breading system. We're gonna go Parmesan cheese, our eggs that have been lightly beaten, and our Italian-style breadcrumbs. We're gonna add in our onion powder and garlic powder into our breadcrumbs and get that mixed in. Now we're gonna season both sides of our pork chops with some salt and pepper. Now we're going to bread our pork chops and we're first going to go into our Parmesan cheese on all sides. Get that coated. Give it a little shake. Going to go into our eggs. Get that well coated. Then into our breadcrumbs. Same thing. We're going to shake off the excess. We're going to set these aside and we're going to heat up about three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Our oil is nice and hot. We're going to add in our pork and we're going to fry these about three to four minutes per side. All right, and our pork chops are done. We want to make sure they hit the internal temperature of 145. I'm going to be serving mine with some classic risotto. And if you're interested in that recipe, I'll drop a link for that in the description. I'm just going to lay my pork chop right on top. Now we're going to drizzle it with some balsamic glaze to add a nice little freshness to it. Make sure we get some of that on our risotto as well. Wow, that looks fantastic. Pop it with a little bit of greenery and we'll get a taste. All right, let's dig in. Myself a nice little bite of this pork chop. juicy, it's tender, it's perfectly cooked all the way through. You get a nice hint of the Parmesan cheese, it's not overpowering. The balsamic glaze really lifts the notes of the pork and the Parmesan cheese, it has a nice crispy exterior. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, if so, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe so that way you don't miss any of our videos. If you're interested in the outdoors, I also have an outdoor channel, I'll drop a link for that in the description. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.